So tonight we're going to play Spin Olympics, pitting the wits of three of the finest spin masters around as they romp behind the truth. They're the hype and the tripe, the gloss and the toss, and we've got three of them. They're here tonight to play Spin Olympics. Okay. Um, very good. <laughs> you weren't expecting that, were you? It's not quite as good as a Welsh choir, but it's not bad for amateurs. <laughs> right. We'll have a game of rugby in here later, but let's uh, meet the three candidates <laughs> who are going to spin to win. Candidate you, number you one is Harvey well. Thomas, ex-consultant director of presentation for Margaret Thatcher, 1986 to 1991. 1891? Candidate number two is Derek Draper, former chief advisor to Peter Mandelson. And finally, candidate number three is Tim Razzle, treasurer of the Liberal Democrats. You can applaud now. I didn't know that. <laughs> okay, now we're on to round number one, which is called What My Colleague Meant to Say Was. It's a quick fire gap round where we flash a sequence of potential <laughs> gaps committed by prominent politicians <laughs> during the campaign, and you've got to save their skin with a bit of spin. So, for example, if we flash this up to you, Cherry Blair, I will leave the country if Labour get in. Okay. You might say, well, what Cherry meant to say was, if Labour get in, the standard of living will be so high that I'll be able to afford longer holidays abroad. You must be joking. I would say if she said that, she meant it. <laughs> For Brilliant. the purposes of this, just uh, oh, we got to ignore all party allegiance. Oh, it's all party allegiance. Right, right. yeah. Two right. points if you spins. defend another party. All Two right. points. Oh, right. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. a deal. Yeah. Now, that's a home and away. That's thing. a good, good, good brown paper parcel thing. Right. Don't behave. You've got to be all the same, <laughs> unlike the major parties. Harvey's not okay. going to behave for <laughs> No, I'm not going to behave. I can't behave on a program like this. Go on. Program. Oh, please, Dave. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to use the word program. Okay. Shall we get going? Let's get going with the. Okay. Yeah, David. Please give us your first gap. Paddy Ashdown, I would vote Lib Dems, but it's a wasted vote. But of course it won't be when proportional representation comes in, because then every vote will count. Oh! oh. Nice one! Good one! Right. Like two for that. Three. <laughs> All right, then, let's go for this one. I'm going to tax the bollocks off every man. <laughs> That's you. not what... Tony Blair actually said. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I'll do better than that. What he meant he, to say... No, what he, what he actually meant to say was that he's not going to tax anybody okay. at all. Hold on, Tony, Tony, Tony oh, was speaking oh. to the Women's Institute and of course there was no one with any bollocks in the room and so he meant <laughs> no tax for anybody. Oh, hey, you're coming alone. Really I've got to have a go on here. Into the lead there with Derek. Now it's quite clear who the leader is, right? Uh, <laughs> Can you get okay. your head out the way? Challenge. Oh, that's right. Can Michael you get your head Howard. out the way? Here? Michael Howard, I like Posh Spice best. She looks a bit dirty. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, that was a bit uh, premature there. I'm, I'm um, blowing, blowing me, me whistle here, but I can't see what you've written up there. I like, I like that. You just think, Michael Howard, I'll defend him whatever he says. Yes. No, 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 not no, at all. I As, like Posh Spice best. She looks a bit dirty. Well, actually, I just discovered Posh Spice is one of those those female puppets that go around. <laughs> I, my yeah. tent, my tent, really. Point 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 and actually, point. actually, <laughs> Michael <laughs> Howard <laughs> meant exactly what he said, because Posh Spice is actually a downwind... Uh, curry restaurant in Peterborough where he was with Brian Mahwini and, and that's the, the exact word you use. The she? Yeah. That's the waitress. Very good. Oh, Very good. Oh, yeah. so, brilliant but They're surreal. good at this job, aren't they? <laughs> right, okay, try this one then. <laughs> Michael Meacher, Harriet Harman, bad egg, nice arse. <laughs> Come on, come on. Oh, yeah, Dave. He meant to say bad, bad ass, now I say. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't dare say that. I think Derek is pushing ahead. Right, we're on the run, yeah, okay. <laughs> Michael Portillo, of course I'm pissed. <laughs> Who's that? Michael Portillo certainly would never have uh, said that, of course I'm pissed, <laughs> because he has not got the hair or the ears or the face to be pissed. <laughs> mm, no, I might throw that open for a bonus, actually. <laughs> I for one didn't. What oh. actu actually he was speaking he was speaking after the election and what he actually said was of course I missed. Ah. Yeah, ah. better but still not worth the point. <laughs> <laughs> How much hair do you have to have to be pissed? All the hair all the hair off a dog. That's that, that's the point of spin. Okay, here uh, we go. It is a good one. <laughs> David Blunkett, I hate Muslims. <laughs> come on. What David Blunkett actually said was not that he hated Muslims per se, but he hated the stereotyping and labelling that people in the media, Ooh. unfortunately on tonight's occasion, your programme included, often use in a way that's quite denigrating oh. to the ethnic minorities. So please stop. I think you've got that. <laughs> <laughs> we have been given our place. Please, please, please put it down. It's all 
Put it down. Massive swing towards you. You don't have to keep trying. You've won the election. <laughs> Right, uh, here we are. Peter Lilly to Gillian Shepherd. Do you want to go and see Crash tonight? I've heard it's good and violent. <laughs> what Peter Lilly actually meant was, yeah. Yeah. you want to go to a good bash tonight, not Crash tonight. It's, Crash is a movie, isn't it? Yes, yes. Is that that yeah, movie we where, those puppets where in. they yeah, have all those right, puppets. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to go a good we... bash tonight? Says go down to the BBC. Uh, all right, I'll okay, that's the end of that. We've been trying to tell you that the Spice Girls are not now. puppets. Oh, <laughs> spice... All night in the green room. Derek, you've won! Sorry, yes! You were brilliant and you put us in our place. There's no democracy on this show. You've won. Thank you very much to the other two. Derek is the winner. Move okay, on to right, right Derek. Derek, we're going to take you through to the final round. Then this is we've got to pick your wits against the wheel of spin here. All right, because uh, this round is called. Uh, we have a very firm position on that. Basically, you'll be asked. <laughs> you'll be asked to change tack mid-sentence on a policy we give you, randomly generated by our policy tombola. Let's just show you how this policy tombola works. It's full of the sort of words that crop up in policies from all the parties. Slash. <laughs> lock up, increase, privatise. So what we'll do is we'll generate a policy on the policy tombola and then what you'll have to do is you'll have to speak on that policy until the klaxon goes and while you're speaking the spinning wheel of spin will be spun by spinning Jenny, Jenny Powell. Hey. Hey. We'll start you off on talking that policy up. We'll then spin the wheel as you're talking, and each time it rests on another mode, like sound tough, in effect, say nothing, you'll have to switch to that mode, but without <laughs> pausing for breath, all right? And the trick is to keep going until the klaxon sounds, all right? So, first of all, let's come up with a policy. We, we would like to... We would like to... Nationalise. We would like to nationalise... Europe! <laughs> <laughs> <We're not laughs> right. Okay. It's a far reaching. Hang on, I haven't started spinning yet. <laughs> Sorry, right. yeah, right. So I thought we were talking it up. Got to talk it up, all right, starting from now. Right, well, it's a far reaching policy, of course, because what it means is that each of the nations of Europe themselves will actually be improved under this new Sounds system. Tough. And if they don't like that, then they'll have to put up with it because Tony <laughs> Blair. <laughs> We'll be laying down the law on that Do and various other turn. things. Uh, though, of course, by nationalise, we could also uh, imply <laughs> that each nation will still have control over its own affairs. Go negative. Europe will not be uh, at all, as the Conservatives have demonstrated in this election, have not got a clue in what to say about Europe. That's what he's been doing. Although, of course, of course, with nationalisation or privatisation, you could equally imply that a new public-private partnership Talk is what's required down. with the best of old and the best of new. Although, of course, this has to be taken into account. <laughs> 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 <laughs>